It seems the Necromancer has a question. I'm Economicon, and will you be the test subject? You can't see anything. It was a complete darkness. It was unsettling yet calm, until you felt an immense pain. It was like something was forcibly dragging and twisting your soul. You scream, begging for the pain to stop. The board around you slowly emerges. You immediately see uncanny green light illuminate the room. You look around and see a circle with weird symbols with lit candles circling around you. You look up and see wooden ceiling. And an unfamiliar boy standing, looking down at you. Oh, I don't like your staff. Does, is that someone I know? It, it works. I did it. I finally did it. What? Where am I? Who are you? And you can talk. Isn't the pain like your whole body is crushed by a building? Well, to be fair, it's more of a twisting, yanking sensation. I mean, you did forcefully remove my soul from the afterlife, right? Wait, unless I die by getting crushed by a building. In which case, yeah, potentially that's how it feels. No? Why don't you tell me what it feels like? You're wondering how I found that information. Well, our master told us that. But what does he know? He has never died and got resurrected. So, I ask you, who's experiencing it firsthand? Resurrected? You haven't realized your situation yet? Look at your body. Wait, have I kind of been Frankenstein? Have you just like meshed body parts together? You try to move, but your limbs feel numb. Hmm? You can't. As I thought. I haven't perfected it. Uh, I guess I still have a long way to go. Here, let me help you. He lifts his staff, and you can feel a part of your body moving. It's your arm, and it's decaying. Wait, you couldn't even get me a new body? You had to just, what, push me back into my old decaying corpse? Ah oh, man, you really need to work on your customer service. It's full of holes. You can see maggots in some of your bones. It must have smelled so bad, but thank the gods, you can't smell anything. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, our body sounds incredibly cool. You wish what's happening right now is only a lie. There's no way it's my arm. You don't believe me? Well, not my problem. You're in pain and wondering who the kid really is. You're in so much pain and wondering what he want from you. So, who are you? That doesn't matter. What do you want to use the information for anyway? Oh, well, you know, maybe I want to choose who I'm going to haunt after I inevitably die again. I mean, you didn't even put me in a fresh body, goddamn you. What do you mean? I mean... Look at you. Still can't beat the room. I'm... dead? There you go. You're using your brain. How? How? I'd like to know that myself. Wait, is that what you brought me back? Are you some kind of detective that are just trying to find, like, solve crimes and stuff? You don't remember? Are you sure you're not lying? Hmm. Don't worry. We'll go back to that later. So, um, where am I? A house, that's for sure. It's completely damaged, though. I assume it's yours? Uh, sure, why not? It does look like mine. I mean, it's got a ceiling and everything, right? What happened to it, I wonder? Maybe you can tell me. Before that, can you stop this pain first? You're in pain, but you talk so much. That's impressive. But too bad. I'm still an apprentice. Even though I did all the steps of the rituals, I still haven't perfected it. Master never mentioned lifting the subject's pain, though. Maybe there is no way to do that. 
Sorry, not sorry. But you have to deal with it. What do you mean, sorry, not sorry? Screw you, kid. You know what? When I die, I am going to haunt you. I am going to follow you around and be the most irritating ghost anyway. I'm talking like cat le level shenanigans. I'm going to be knocking your glasses over. I'm going to be scratching on your walls. And you will deserve it, kid. So, mind telling me how you die? You're getting irritated with this kid's attitude as your pain is quickly increasing. You're crazy! I get that a lot. So, you're buoyant? Why me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, no, no! You have the wrong idea. I didn't choose you because of anything specific. Tell us folks that this house is haunted. So, I went in to check it out myself. Then, I found you. Since I'm in the mood to practice, I made you my test subject. So, don't get it wrong. It's nothing personal. You are too speechless to respond to the kid. I definitely made you more moral than you're supposed to be, aren't I? We don't have much time. And I still don't know what to do with you. So tell me your story. At least I get something out of this. Someone was barging into the house. Really? So it was a home invasion? That makes sense. There's no valuable items here at all. Tell me more. Do you know the person? No. They probably took you by surprise. You didn't even get a chance to defend yourself. So you lived here alone? No. I lived with my family. A family? I see. Are you sure? Where's my family? You're the only corpse I see here. No mark of blood anywhere but here either. My family! They took them. I need to find my family. Looking at your corpse, I assume the accident happened only weeks ago. They're probably already dead somewhere. Jesus Christ, kid! Where is your bedside manner? Can't you at least die to me? I'm already dead, goddammit. You know what? I love this kid. You're in disbelief at what the kid says. Despite the pain, you forcefully move your body towards the kid. How could you say that? You don't know that! Let me find my family! Oh, no, no, you can't do that! Why? See? Necromancy is temporary. I can't bring you back alive for that long. Did you forget that I'm only an apprentice? As we speak, I'm testing how long I can hold the magic. I said, let me find my family. Whoa, whoa. This is what Master warned about the subject getting out of hand. I really want to test how long you'd last, but it seems I have to find a new test subject. Though, I must say, congratulations. You're my first ever successful test subject. Find... You're saying something. Find them. For me. Me? Find your family. No thanks. That's completely not my business. Hey, my corpse wasn't your business either. You! Let's forget this ever happened. Goodbye! Well, it seems I don't get given much of a choice about it. I wonder if our story changes if we say the house wasn't ours. I mean, maybe we'll take the place of the actual invader rather than the person that owned the house then. It's definitely not mine. It's not yours? Interesting. Who are you? That doesn't matter. What do you want to use the information for anyway? So did it change our story? So tell me your story. At least I get something out of this. Why are you hesitating to tell me? Did you rob this house? Oh, it does place it into the Dippin's perspective. Oh, it 
it seems like I did. I hit the nail, didn't I? <laughs> How funny. This house became your deathbed. It's not funny. But your body's here, and no valuable things around. Not to mention, there's no other corpses. What about the homeowner? We were not stealing. What were you doing then? Wait, we? You're as surprised as I am. I'm not mistaken. You said we. What were you and your folks doing then? Don't tell me you were abducting someone. The owner of this house? <laughs> I get why you don't want to admit it. How did you die, though? Something's not adding up. We agreed on only abducting the owner for ransom, but they took the valuables in the house too, right? I get it. I reminded them of our agreement, but... Uh-huh. So they killed you? Betrayal. How sad. It's kind of hard to feel remorseful when this all happened because we were abducting someone. What? Don't expect me to pity you. You brought that to yourself, didn't you? You're just one of the unlucky ones. You're in disbelief of what the kid says. Despite the pain, you forcefully move your body towards the kid. Let me find them. Oh no, no, you can't do that. Why? See, necromancy is temporary. I can't bring you back alive for that long. Did you forget that I'm only an apprentice? As we speak, I'm testing how long I can hold the magic. I said, let me find and kill them. Whoa, whoa. This is what Master warned about the subject getting out of hand. I really want to test out how long you'd last, but it seems I have to find a new test subject. Though, I must say, congratulations. You're my first ever successful test subject. Find. You're saying something? Find them for me. Me? Find your accomplices. No thanks. That's completely not my business. You know, this time, it's understandable you don't want to find them. I mean, let's face it, if they killed me, they'll probably kill you as well. You. Let's forget this ever happened. Goodbye. You know what? I like the kid. He's gonna go far. He's gonna be a great necromancer, I'm sure. He'll have an army of bodies. Well, if you enjoyed your time here, I'd greatly appreciate a like this video and subscribe to this channel. Other than that, it was a spooky day, and I'll catch you next time, guys.